بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد عاصم آئی ایم ورکنگ از ایپ ایپس انجینئر ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ یو کین یوز سیکرٹ مینیجر فار یور آر ڈی ایس اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو یوز دا اے ڈی اے ڈبلیو ایس سیکرٹ مینیجر بائی یوزنگ دا ٹیرا فارم ماڈیول سو دس از مائی ٹیرا فارم ماڈیول اینڈ یو ول ناٹ ایبل ٹو فائنڈ module with regard to the secret manager so I've decided to set up a module with regard to the uh, AWS secret manager and um, as in my previous video with regard to the RDS I've uh, already shown you guys how to deploy the RDS and I will also push uh, this code to my uh, Terraform uh, repository which is uh, which is available for public so let's begin so as you see uh, there is no secret created I have already deployed the RDS this is my RDS instance and this is the detail uh, of the RDS so I'm going to deploy this RDS module in my Frankfurt region so I've already paste this command and what it will do it will prompt for the password I have set up the variable um, which you will see in a code as well so I'm give, going to give this um uh, secret a password let's say is um uh, 1235 and one thing i need to tell you that this is the same password of my rds uh, instance which i have deployed so for the demonstration i need to sh show you that uh, this is my um rds uh, password as well and for the management of my rds i will also give this uh, password here as well so I have press enter after it asks me for the password so um, what it will do it will create this um, uh, secret manager with this name let me show you on the name as well this is the name is going to be my SQL password you can give any name and let's say yes and also uh, you have to just manually put this host uh, which is the endpoint of the of your RDS let me show you guys this is the endpoint of my RDS so simply after deployment simply paste it and uh, also the DB instance identifier this is the DB in instance identifier so if you haven't watched my video with regard to the RDS please watch that so let's see if I go to the secret manager and let let's refresh and go to the secrets so this is the secret uh, this is the secret created let me show you uh, the secret uh, I have not enabled the auto uh, ro automatic rotation for this that I will show you in some other video anyway and uh, this is the code you can use in your application Java JavaScript C sharp uh, Python 3 Ruby and go um, but what we are going to do let's say um, I want to uh, administer this um, secret so I'm going to launch an EC2 instance and show you guys how to connect with this um, uh, RDS by using the secret manager let uh, I, and also I'm going to just only use the ID of my uh, 
secret manager and which is the secret name so this is the id or you can say this is the secret name uh, and from this uh, secret name uh, i'm going to um, extract the original password uh, which i have provided in the rds so uh, let me show you guys the uh, value of uh, this is the WordPress and this is the password of which I gave which I have already shown you so let's close this so um, also I have included the um, EC2 module uh, with regard to the instance profile the instance profile I'm going to use uh, along with a uh, role is to show you guys that I'm going to give the let me close all this stuff so let me open the EC2 module so this is uh, our EC2 uh, module and let me show you the policy uh, in my EC2 module which I'm using for a uh, secret manager if I go to the policies and this is the policy I'm using you see this is a system manager policy and this policy will be automatically attached to that EC2 instance which I'm going to launch um, let me show you this one so this is the EC2 instance we are going to launch and and this is the e AMI details so this is the instance profile um, what instance profile do is um, actually launch a container and in that container uh, IAM role will be attached so this is the instance profile I'm creating and on that um, I'm going to include that I am role and this I am role um, I am creating also uh, in a module so this is the I am EC2 uh, system manager role and you see I am giving the file um, to the it goes to the AWS policies and this is the policy it is going to um, attach with it so let's begin and then I'm going to show you how you can connect with uh, RDS by simply using the uh, secret manager uh, name so if I go if I launch the EC2 instance um, what will happen that profile is going to be also attached and it will ask for the password so simply provide that you can give um, any fake password if uh, the module is not relevant to the one um, with the variable attached to it so if I say yes um, this is the public key and let me show you guys the if I go to um, EC2 instance it will launch in um, EC2 instance and uh, you see these are the security groups uh, which I have showed you in my previous video are going to be attached to it and you see this is the role EC2 secret, uh, secret manager role and with that role this uh, that policy is also attached so in the policy I have already shown you with regard to the secret manager so it will allow to connect to the RDS so what I am going to do is to simply SSH into this EC2 machine let me open another ter terminal and 
it will also create the this um, uh, key pair so I don't have to do anything and this all is fully uh, automated so simply I'm going to search what is this key pair so yes you see I am in the EC2 instance if I do sudo iPhone I so guys let me show you one thing um, the script I'm going to use uh, in order to connect um, with the RDS instance if I go to my github AWS repository let me show you the script as well and the packages uh, it will install So this is the secret manager. I've already set up everything for you guys. Simply, you have to copy this bash script. So it will create the environment variables. And let me show you guys. You have to just provide one variable with regard to your secret manager name or secret manager id you can say whatever so i'm going to say let's say rds connection dot shell so as i will told you that um, a role is already attached and make sure if you you are unable to connect to the rds instance um, check it the security group so so this is the security uh, sorry secret ID you have to put here and this secret ID is the name of this um, secret name uh, you see my secret my sequel password let me just double check as well seems to be correct so let's save it i'm going to make it executable so what it will do it will uh, uh, install some packages and then it will automatically connect to the audience so guys this is uh, connected to the audience you see welcome to the RDS this one RDS uh, instance it is connected to uh, sorry this one so thank you guys please like and share my video and um, this is the way you can securely uh, connect to the RDS instance let me show you the security uh, groups as well I have a reference the 3306 and I have uh, reference the security group so it will and uh, the instance is able to connect to the rds instance so this is how you can use the secret manager uh, in order to connect to it let me show you guys that the commands that simply when not giving it the passwords so what it do uh, it you see uh, these this is the command you can find on the AWS uh, uh, documentation um, uh, you you have to make sure that AWS CLI is installed I because I'm uh, using the Amazon Linux so by default uh, AWS CLI is installed there so these are the command uh, running in order to connect uh, to the uh, uh, secret managers so it will pull all the uh, secret for us the username the password the host and the port so uh, this is the way we can simply able to connect uh, if I run it again 
um, I'm setting the environment variable actually so it will again able to simply able to see connect so um, this is the script you can use for connection and uh, in order to uh, connect to the um, uh, if you want your application to be connected uh, to this RDS instance you can use these already provided uh, script by AWS which are very um, powerful so uh, I always recommend to use the AWS secret uh, secrets manager uh, rather than uh, using the uh, plain text so thank you guys uh, have a nice day please like and share my video thank you